Okay. Worry about me. Okay. Yeah. Worry about those little mice out in your lab. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, but I've moved up from mice in yes. the last couple of weeks. Okay. Oh, <laughs> whatever critters you have out there, I don't want to know. But if it's a choice between them or the house. Okay, guys, we're working with Gromit on his doing his ear stuff. And I'm going to get him up. I'm going to have him go chase the treat down. Come on, buddy. Bring him over here and tell you a couple of things we're doing here with him. So, one, I'm asking him to lay down. And I'm watching which side he shifts his hips. And that's the ear. No. That's the ear I'm going for right now because that's the side he's going to roll onto. Yes. When he lays quietly and relaxed, I say, yes, he's released. And I give him a treat. So I'm going to have him go chase a treat. And having him chase a treat right now is just a way to reset him so we can try work on this again. Come on, buddy. So I'm going to shift my legs. I found that sometimes I've kind of worked with him a few times on this. Come on, bud. Down. So notice he shifts his hips the other direction so that we can access this here. When he throws his little fit, which he does in the past, has been his way of getting out of this, I just... Wait him out. Rocky down. Nope. Matt down. Good oh boy. pressure like I'm not trying to push his head down I'm just keeping my hands here and he has to stay on his side right now where I put him The moment he gets quiet. He doesn't have to get quiet for long right now because we just started this. And again, I'm not pushing his head down. I'm not, like, shoving his head down. All I'm doing is is I'm keeping his body on his side after I roll him. And I'm just kind of just, well, I'm just there. So I'm not, but he's so used to throwing this fit when people mess with his ears that he's so used to throwing this fit and this loud whining. It sounds like you're killing the poor dog. When, in reality, I just need him to lay there relaxed. So right now, he only has to lay there relaxed for a moment. Oh, the only time I ask him to lay longer is when I, and I actually am going to do his ear drop tonight. I'm going to do that, because um, this is medicine for his ears. But, yeah, he really kind of throws this fit and sounds like you're killing the poor dog uh, when you're doing it. And so, over time, we would want to start extending how long. Um, now, this is one of many ways we could teach this. Um... This is just one way we're doing it right now, but there's other ways we could teach him to work with his ears. Um, for example, another way we could teach him is maybe teach him to target his chin to something like a, a leg or um, a box or something so that we could have him target his chin and then put his ears up so he's on his side. That's another option that takes a little bit longer to teach, so I'm going to help his owner if she wants to learn how to do that one with him. Grab it. Come here. Come over here. Down. 
just have him lay down for a moment. Um, good boy. So, this is just one way. So, actually, what I'm going to do here is I, I always watch what side his hip goes. And I've kind of figured out that depending on how which leg I have out, kind of, nope, down. Depending on what leg I have out, actually kind of determines which hip he shifts. But if his, you see his hip shift that way, if I tried to roll him this way for this ear, it wouldn't work out very well. I end up fighting him a lot. But when he shifts here, and actually when he rolls, I'm actually not really doing a lot to roll him. And I don't care. There he goes. So all I've done to roll him so far is just pick up his ear, and he's been rolling on his own. So here he's not rolling. Yes. And that's okay. All I want him to be able to do is examine his ears. So I want to be able to do this without, yes, without him screaming his head off like I'm killing him. So I just need to be able to examine and be able to clean his ears. Yes. Good boy. I'm going to give him something to go chase and to reset him, and I'm going to switch my legs. Don't know why this works. It just does. Yeah, I only talked to one buddy. And he's getting some Zook treats. So he's getting stuff that's not his food. He's getting some special stuff. Nope. Come over here. Hey, bud. Come over. Down. Down. No. Down. Good. So you notice his hip went the other way. So that way I'm going to pick up this here. Lying a little bit. So he's the one rolling himself. I'm not rolling him, actually. He's the one rolling. But once he rolls himself, I'm not going to let him get up and throw a fit. So once he rolls, I just let him stay there. But he rolls himself. I don't roll him. He's still whining a little bit. Just gonna pick up his ear. So he there he goes. He rolls himself. Yes. He's so used to rolling himself to get out of whatever ear we want to work with. But I figured out once we know what way his hips go, that really helps us. Yes. So again, I don't really need him. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got to have him come to the way. So I'm gonna have him go one more time. Yeah. I just gotta reset him. I gotta do this way because I gotta get his right ear. So I need him to shift his hips for his right ear. Do you mind it, buddy? So I really do need to do his ear, his ear drop that he's on. Oops. There we go. Just pull, just pull the top off. I'm gonna get it ready. Pull the top off so I don't have to do it while I got him in position. All right, bud. Here we go. No, Rocky, not you. Down. No, you can't eat the treats for free. Down. Nope. Down. There goes our shift and hip. So this time, there goes our ear. I'm going to wait till he's nice and quiet again. So you can see here's a little, it's a little more dramatic because we actually did the ear. And again, I'm not really holding them, just got my hands here. But I want them to get nice and relaxed. Still kind of whining. Release. I think that was. I think near the end that was breathing. Good boy. And so I don't want to end with this. So we're going to do a couple where I'm just going to pick up his ear. Yes. So I don't want it to be a culmination of. And you know what? I'll even dry this one for the side. Yes. See if he won't even. I don't want it to be a culmination of. Yes. Uh, all right, we did the ear, and that's the end, and you got to put up with the thing. Yes. I'm going to do a couple of these really easy, play with his ears. So here, I'll do a couple of these. Yes. And there, I'm going to end with a little bit of jackpot. So I never want to, I want to do some really easy ones where he's succeeding. Then I want to do the ear drop, and then I want to do some more easy ones for him. That was really good. That's all we're going to do. I mean, what, we filmed 10 minutes? Bing. 10 minutes, we're done. 
Um, and that's all, you know, that's all he really can do. And that's all, I don't want to push it too much. And, um, we just want it so he's not <laughs> screaming his head off. Um, which is what he's been doing in the past. So, he's doing really good. We're going to give him a little break. And, uh, I think we're going to do a little bit more drumming with nails tonight. Maybe. I may leave the rest of his nails. He's going home tomorrow. So I may leave the rest of his nails for his owner to work on the drumming with him. But, he's ready to go. He's doing good. He's doing good. Good boy. Release. I'll toss him a few. Nope. Rocky, not you. Rocky down. Yeah, not you, buddy. Rocky's in for boarding. He's a former board and train dog. Nope. There you go, bud. I'm going to give him, and then we've got, while we're doing this whole time, while we're doing this, we've got board and train dog over here, Miss Brandy, the eight-month-old boxer, and right on the other side there and is uh, Murphy, the year-old Brittany. So these guys are all hanging out while we're doing this with Gromit. So that's one way to teach it. Like I said, there's other ways to teach it. Like we could teach them to eventually... Um, you know, target maybe a box or something, like with a towel and do a chin rest, where we, he rests his chin, it's a little it's a little more hands-off, so not so much the handling part, a little bit more free choice for him, um, that's definitely something that can be worked on while we're doing this stuff, but right now we do need to get his ears done, and so right now this is sort of like the least confrontational we can kind of do, and still teach him to stop being all that whining stuff. Hi, bud. says, more. And I do use Zook treats, and I don't tend to give them Zooks any other time. Um, so it's really good to pick, like, a special treat or something during some of these things that you give your dog, especially in the beginning. Sorry, guys. I don't want him to knock over my drink. In the beginning, so... No, it's my drink. So that your dog has something special to look forward to. Like, if your dog has trouble getting their nails clipped or being handled or, you know, uh, anything like that, I tend to pick something special um, like maybe one treat that we only give them during that, or boiled chicken, or, um, freeze-dried liver, uh, Brandy, no. She was chewing on the leash, sorry guys. Um, uh, or, you know, even hot dogs, something just special that your dog gets during those times. In this case, I don't tend to give Grandma Zooks, he's mostly working for his kibble right now, so that's an extra special treat for him to get right now. So, and you can see, he's like, cool, I had fun. Um, so these are going to be good sessions for him and his owner to do when he goes home and to do periodically, you know, several days a week, even if we're not going to do any ear stuff, so that when we do ear stuff, it's just, oh, we're going to do ear stuff. Okay. You know, it's just one extra step, but there's so much good reinforcement behind it that the day you do ear stuff is no big deal. So, yeah. So uh, we're at the end of our day. We're going to get ready to put these guys away, give them some dinner, and go to bed. So talk to you guys later. I hope that was helpful. And you guys need any help with any sort of husbandry stuff. So husbandry being um, grooming or vet work, you know, vet positions, blood draws, nails, um, ear cleanings and stuff. Give me a buzz, and I'd love to help you teach your dog how to be more comfortable with those things. So talk to you guys later.